Hi folks, Brian from Embrilliance here again. In this video, we're going to have some fun with a new magic wand, which is a magic wand for lines right here, and that's in level three. And we're also going to play with styles. I think you're going to find that topic very interesting. Here we've got an image that I brought in. It's a line art image. It's purchased. Uh, you probably have seen similar things on Clipartopolis and other uh, large clip art websites. And this would be a great design to do a little red work out of. And we're going to use the magic wand with lines. And what you want to do is find an area where you've got lots of color to click in. And we're just going to click on that and it will trace the entire thing for us. It's actually going to do more than just tracing, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, you'll also notice that while the wand is active, we have a sensitivity slider, which lets us adjust how particular it is tracing the little dots of color that form the lines. This is a pretty clean design, and actually most of them are when you buy them off of a clip art service. Uh, but you can adjust it if it's a little bit fuzzy around the edges. Once you get the trace how you like, right-click on the wand tool to end the object creation, and here we have it. Now, if I go to our tool to hide the background image, I can see my stitches. And I notice here the eye is missing from this, so let's go and use the regular wand tool. Click on that. I'll just right-click and make it a satin stitch, and now we've got all the stitches we need. I can uh, turn off the background image, and it looks pretty good. Now, what's happened here is we've traced the outline of the image and given everything a double stitch effect so that everything here gets sewn over twice, very much like a normal red work design would be. If we go to our sewing simulator, and I'll just push the button and let it sew out while we talk, uh, we can watch this design play out. You'll notice there's really no jump stitches until we get to her eye. Now let's come back to the create and talk a little bit about styles. Styles and quick styles of stitching are very important. Here we've created a double stitch. As you can see, it's just a simple run out and a run back. And the magic wand for line actually makes use of styles and you'll see runs, returns, and doubles. Well, what does that mean? Well, when a first stitch out goes, it's called a run stitch. So that's going to be a normal running stitch to trace the outline. And when you have something like a piece of hair here, it's going to run out and back. If I want to select something that's a double stitch and change the stitch type on that, I can pick something different maybe make it a stem stitch. And now we'll take a look at the quick styles. You'll see that was generated with a line wand double style. And right now it's asterisked, which means if I update it, I can update that style, line wand double, and I can also update all the objects that are the same style. So if I click yes, what we see is all double stitched objects are now uh, stem stitched. If I also pick the return stitching, which is a very similar type of stitch, I can put the stem stitch on that, change the quick style, update it, update all the objects, and now I've changed the entire look of the design. So styles are very useful tools because we can update multiple objects at the same time by updating a style. We can also save that style so that when we begin digitizing a design, we can load that style and start work, and all of the objects we create are going to have that style applied. We don't have to go and change the properties. Okay, now I know that's a lot to take in, so let's just go to a very simple style uh, example and work our way through it, but here you can see a quick result. So let's take a little primer on styles. And to do that, what we need to do is create some shapes. So let's start with some simple lines. And there's a line, and we'll put a running stitch on it. 
and let's make another line and we'll maybe make this one a curve and put a running stitch on that one and we'll take this one here and we'll put a running stitch on this one as well and now we have three straight running stitch pieces now let's take this design and imagine for a moment that we kind of like the look of a back stitch with maybe a little bit longer stitch length and this is something that we just we just know it sews out terrific so what we want to do is be able to take those properties and create a style from them so here we're going to click add and we'll type in my back stitch need a space in there and so now we have a quick style called my back stitch so if I have other objects like this one here and I want to use that style I can just click my back stitch and that style is with us all the time it's on the computer so when we come back and open the program again it's per permanently available to us it's also stored on the page so that if we switch from this computer to another one but we have our stitch artist level 3 loaded on that as well we can bring the style across on the page so it's a very handy sort of thing to be able to quickly set properties by the way in stitch artist you can have as many objects as you want selected and you can change properties and you can add quick styles to everything that's selected so again a very handy way to quickly set all the properties on a set of objects and that's what quick styles are for but now we're going to go into something that's a little bit beyond that and create something like what the magic wand for lines did and we'll see how those styles apply to the various elements let's dig a little bit deeper and we're going to do that by creating a very simple drawing and this will illustrate the use of styles and also better help us understand what's going on with the magic wand with lines so I'm going to create some very simple objects I'm going to create a line that goes up and this is going to form like a small tree or maybe a branch on a tree so that's the first stroke that goes up let's create a little twig that comes out let's create another twig that comes off the end and one more that goes off to the left and we're going to have to come back down to complete the stitching and so now what we would have is the essentials of a double stitch twig a very simplified branch something like that let's open this up and look at the objects we're going to select them all and set them to a running stitch and so what do we have we have this one which is supposed to run out and then this next one that's going to run out and back now that would be the magic wand for lines style that we call double same thing here this would be a double stitch because it wants to go out and back and this would be out and back this final stitch that comes home just runs over an existing run and that's a return style so if we were to use the quick styles for the magic wand this one would be a return and then these three would be doubles and this one would be the run style and that would give us the type of stitching we see in a magic wand for lines now what's nice about that if I pick one of these pieces here I can go to the quick style and you see it's a double stitch if I change that style to something like a stem stitch go back over to my quick styles and we notice hey it's telling me it's changed because there's an asterisk on it I can update that style update all the objects for it and now I've updated all of those return or double stitches the return stitch I probably want to do the same thing with we want to go and set that to that stem stitch and update and now we have that now let's make this something we would actually use and we're going to do that by setting the entries and exits automatically and now let's use the sewing simulator to see what we've got we go up we go out we stem stitch back we go up we stem stitch back 
we go out to the left and stem stitch back, and now the return is stem stitching back down. So we did all those steps manually, and the magic wand for lines did it for you all automagically, and that's kind of the beauty of it, is that it not only traces the outlines, but it also uses the style properties so that you can quickly set the cover stitch uh, property for those running stitches. Okay, I know that was a pretty in-depth lesson on styles and the magic wand for lines, and we've actually got more to do with styles and style sheets coming up in a video soon, so we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.